All right, what's going on folks? So it is springtime in Texas, nice beautiful day. And that means it's a perfect day for some off season archery practice. And any day that you can get out in the woods and shoot your bow just makes the day that much better, right? So today I'm out here just kind of messing around and I wanted to show off this new target that I got. I haven't even shot it yet, but it just looks really cool. So I wanted to kind of take a look at it and it's supposed to be really tough. So we're gonna kind of put it to the test. So this is the Vital Signs Foam Target by Morel. And this foam is supposed to be really tough, which it feels really stout. So first impressions are good. I really like that it's bright orange so you can see it pretty easily. Um, even if you're shooting really far, you can kind of set it out in the field and it's easy to see. Uh, looks like on the front we got kind of six bullseye targets. Um, then we've got a deer vital area kind of on the side which which I guess is why it's called the vital signs target huh um, but I already like that because my other target that I have it's got a nice bullseye area um, and it's really it's really easy to see and really easy to shoot but that's great for practicing but it's not really lifelike it's not a, like a hunting situation where you would actually want to be practicing on the vital area of an animal so it's got the bullseyes on that side the deer on this side, it's got a turkey on that side, um, which is pretty cool because the vital area on a turkey is, it's kind of, it, it's smaller than most people think. So it's good to have that on there. Uh, looks like we got kind of a dark animal on this side that I, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a bear. Looks like it's probably supposed to be a bear, but down in Texas, I think that'll be just good, just as good a practice for hogs, because um, it's about the right size, about the right height, and more bullseyes on this bag. So, six-sided cube target. Every single side has a different, a different thing to shoot at. So, lots of options. Um, so, it looks pretty cool. Let's bring it down range and start throwing some arrows at this thing. The mosquitoes out here are driving me crazy. Well, I forgot my rangefinder, so we're just gonna eyeball it, but I can step it off and we're not gonna take it up too far today, so I think probably just eyeballing 30 yards should be fine. All right, I got my bow all set out here. This target is supposed to be pretty tough, so we're gonna really test this thing out. So first, we're gonna shoot it with field points. Obviously, if a target can't hold up to field points, it's not worth having. Most people are gonna practice with field points most of the time. So we're going to throw a couple field points at it, test that out. Then next we're going to go to the NAP kill zone. I think a lot of people use that broadhead. It's been out for quite a while, um, but it's pretty popular. So the NAP comes with this practice head. There's no real blades to it. It's just kind of a, like a little metal spacer. So we're going to test it out with the NAP practice head. Then we're going to step it up and do... Test it out with the actual NAP kill zone two blade. And those are these blades have a pretty wide cutting diameter. So I think the the cutting potential of the NAP is pretty good, but the penetration isn't as good as some other broadheads. But that wide blade will definitely kind of show us how this target holds up to that cut. So from there, we're gonna step it up, and this is the new titanium x4 blade so it's a little bit shorter it's got twice as many blades as the nap and it's solid grade 5 titanium so it's definitely going to hit harder um and probably do a lot of damage but we'll see how well this target holds up to the titanium x4 blade and then over here this is the titanium x3 blade so we've got a bunch of mechanicals but a lot of people like the three blades just for the better penetration. And obviously on a solid titanium head with that chisel tip, it's still going to be a pretty good test um, in terms of penetration and just cutting potential on this target. So let's go. Uh, field points first. All right, looks like my first shot was pretty much right on. My second shot was a hair high, but not too bad. But 
really good penetration. I mean, I'm shooting a 70 pound bow, so that's kind of what I expected. Uh, but let's see how far these arrows are lodged in there. So it looks like they penetrated pretty far, um, probably about nine or 10 inches, a little more than a third of the arrow, because I think these are 29 inch arrows. But this cube is so thick that if you really look at that distance on, on the cube, we didn't even get halfway through it. So it definitely stopped them really well. Let's throw a few more at it just for fun. All right, not a bad group. I like that they slide out of here pretty easy, so I don't really need an arrow puller. It definitely takes a little bit of force to pull it out, but not like some others where it's really stuck in there. So, good test with field points. Now let's try it with that uh, NAP practice blade. <laughs> Well, it looks like point of impact was a little bit different with this. I was hitting all, all in the bullseye with the field points. So it looks like this one hit a little bit lower. Could have been me. Could have been the, the arrowhead. Now, I pulled a little bit of foam out with it, but not bad. We've got a little cut there, but nothing, nothing too bad. It looks like it held up pretty well. So it held up to the field points and the NIP practice head. Let's try it with the NIP two blade kill zone. Well, I smoked the bullseye with that one. Let's look at the damage. So the broadhead definitely expanded all the way. Look at that. That's a really big cutting diameter. And yep, there's a big cut on the target for sure, but looks like it held up pretty well. Now let's try the True Glow Titanium X 4-Blade Mechanical. I think that one will hit it quite a bit harder. All right, that's a solid hit. Looks like it was a touch high, and you can definitely see the X mark um, of where that 4-Blade went in. Oh man, it's buried down in there pretty good. Well, once again, it looks like all four blades expanded 100%. It pulled out little bits like these little fuzzies with it. And we can see an X mark on the target, but again, no foam falling out or anything. So I'm impressed with how this thing's holding up, even to that massive titanium four blade. So that was all the mechanical heads, that two blade NAP and this four blade Titanium X. I've shot this thing and it's just blown the foam straight out of other targets. So I'm really impressed that it, that it held up as well as it did um, to this bad Mamma Jamma. So we've tested all these mechanicals, but I know a lot of people like just kind of a traditional three blade fixed. So we're just gonna throw the equivalent Titanium X, but the three blade fixed. We're gonna shoot that and just see how it does. All right, so I hit that one a little high. That was totally my fault. I think my arm was getting a little bit tired. I kind of felt myself pull the shot. I mean, it still would have been a kill shot on a deer, obviously, but not right in the bullseye. This one, just from looking at the arrow, looks like it penetrated a little bit farther than the rest, but obviously this block is so thick that it slows it down gradually, and so it's nowhere close to passing through. It still catches it really well, and and throughout all of these shots, the target hasn't moved or fallen over or anything, so it's pretty sturdy. But let's yank this guy out and just see what kind of damage it did. So the three blade fix definitely penetrated the furthest. Like the others, it's kind of come out with some little fuzzies on it, but no big chunks of foam, no massive damage. Um, in fact, this one pretty much just cut a nice little three blade hole, but didn't pull out any foam at all, despite going about halfway through the target. So again, this one penetrated the furthest, but the target didn't budge, didn't really tear it up at all. 
So even these three blade fixed titanium broadheads, this target's doing pretty well, I'm impressed. So that was kind of a good general roundabout look of how this target holds up to uh, field point, the NAPs, and the Titanium X broadheads, but we were shooting all that at just the regular bullseye side of the target. I think one of the most fun things about this target is you can shoot at lots of different things. So I'm a little bit bitter about not getting a turkey this year, so we're gonna shoot the turkey. Well, we're right through the lungs on that gobbler. What? What are we gonna shoot next? Let's shoot the deer. Well, it was just a touch higher than I was aiming, but that would still definitely be a double lung shot on a whitetail, so that would be deer meat on the table. Again, still just the little fuzzies on the broadhead, but no big chunks of foam at all. All right, let's kill a bear, slash pig, bear pig. So it looks like we got lungs, heart, and then I hit just behind the heart. So I probably would have severed the aorta. Probably still would have been a kill, but it's cool that you can really see where all the organs are just for practicing your shots and kind of how they would affect an animal. So that would probably still be a dead bear pig, but maybe not. I don't know. I need to keep practicing, but that's, that's just cool that you can see where you're hitting. Well, I had a bunch of fun today practicing with this Morel Vital Signs target. So some of my groups were really good, some of them needed some work. Luckily, I've got several months till fall deer season. I'm pretty excited about fall deer season already though. Just, I don't know, waiting till opening day of archery season is kind of like a kid waiting for Christmas. But I've got several months to practice, but I think that this target will definitely hold up to several months of practice with both broadheads and field points. So definitely a cool target. Had a lot of fun. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.